and thank you so much for watching. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing some Warby Parker sunglasses, but first I'm going to unbox them for you. This is a new pair of their sunglasses out of their spring collection. Um, it's a new woman's pair called the Aubrey, and I'm excited to show it to you because it's not yet available for home try-on. So, uh, if you want to see this and how it looks on my face, please keep watching. Okay, first I want to say I'm sorry if you hear any fan noise. This room that I used to film in has the best lighting out of all the rooms in the house, but unfortunately it's also the freaking hottest in the house. I have the fan on and I can't cope without it, so I'm sorry if you hear it. Um, but here we go. Roy Parker sunglasses came in this nice box, and this is the first time I have ordered uh, an actual pair of sunglasses besides the home try-on from them, and um, I've really loved this experience. The box is really nice. It's economical. Also, it's compact enough that it fit in my mailbox. I've actually had problems with people thieving stuff like off of my front porch before so that was rude. Anyway I really like how it fit in my, my mailbox for more um, discretion shall we say. But inside the compact box I love how the Warby Parker box fits perfectly within that box. It's kind of like an Emperor's New Groove situation where we've got a box within a box and a box within a box and it's just fun, you know? Um, so the Warby Parker box, I will pop this out now, um, is a dark slate gray. It's really nice. You've got the Warby stamped on the front. Um, my order details are in the bottom there. And um, so also the shipping was free and they will send you um, a return label for to ship it back free if you decide they don't work or if you're not feeling it completely, uh, which is also really nice. So inside this box, you have the case, finally. We're getting closer and closer to the sunglasses. And in the bottom of the box, you have a thank you card, which also tells you how every pair that you purchase, they give another pair to someone who is in need. So it's kind of a Tom's philosophy there. So this case I love because online it appears to look white, but it's actually not. It's more of a really, really light gray. And it's also a material that can easily be washed off or wiped down. So you don't have to worry about dirt. Um, it's completely hard, hard all the way around, which is very protective. I really like that. And it's just big enough for the glasses. It's not too huge, but it's not too small. I think it's perfect. So again, you've got the Warby Parker stamped in on the front. So you open this up, you have a really soft Mediterranean blue material. Mediterranean blue. I like how I pull that out. Anyway, you can feel like you're on like a, a, a Grecian tour if you buy these sunglasses. But really, it's very nice, very vibrant, and makes it kind of fun to open your sunglasses because this is one of the most beautiful shades of blue I have ever seen. So here are my sunglasses, but before that, I'll show you that they also come with a Warby Parker kind of microfiber cleaning cloth slash drawstring pouch. So that's really nice as well. I like how it functions as both. But sometimes your sunglasses will get lint from the, or little fuzzies from the inside of the case on them, and when you put them inside the pouch, it kind of eliminates that. Okay, as far as the sunglasses, again, these are the Aubrey, and for some features, they are 55, 21, 142, so 55 millimeter lens width, 21 millimeter nose bridge, and 142 millimeter temple length. This is in the color striped marble. Online it appeared to be more of a brown marble, and I couldn't quite tell. It ended up being more gray, with only just like a few flecks of brown. So you can be the uh, you can be the judge on if they look good on me or not. That's kind of one of the reasons I'm putting these out there. Uh, this color code, I forgot to mention, is also 151, but they're, Warby Parker uses more um, the names of the color than the numbers. Inside the right temple, you have the Warby Parker etch in, and then on the other side, you have some info here. These glasses are made in China, which has been a concern. I see it online a lot. Some people don't know whether to go with Warby Parker because of the fact that they're made in China. But honestly, they take pride in their glasses to a very, very high standard. And the fact that you can get all their sunglasses starting at $95 for polarized lenses is amazing. They also use sheet acetate. I'm not sure exactly where they source their acetate from, but it's a very high quality. They also use barrel hinges. Um, everything about this just screams great quality. When I move this around, it's very sturdy, very durable, and I would not even think twice about paying $95 for that. You get free shipping, as I said before. It's just a really great deal. Um, so I'm going to put these on for you so you can see. I kind of, I'm, I'm kind of feeling the color, um, but I can tell you first off that the lens clarity is amazing. It's tip top, and it kind of got like a gray gradient going on here. But it's amazing how it's a subtle gradient. But I also, um, when I'm looking directly into the sun out my window, uh, the clarity and the protection of it blocking the sun is great. The polarization is great. Everything. 
Now I'm not sure how this fits my nose bridge or certain features of that, so you can let me know in the comments below. I like it to be kind of interactive. And um, they're very comfortable, extremely comfortable, I would say. So I just want to say you can't beat this for $95. I'm not sure if this um, will, if I'll keep this pair or not. I, I love it. Um, I love certain aspects of it, certain aspects I'm not so sure. Uh, but I did want to really show it to you though because the only other place you can see it is their website and you can't see the uh, striped marble on anyone's face. There is another color and it's like a translucent nude. And they have like an interactive 3D model of that on a woman's face on the site which I'll put down below if you want to see that. But other than that, I just want to talk to you about Warby Parker quality because there's been a lot of questions about that online and people Googling that all the time. And I wanted to kind of set the record straight. I pride myself on telling you guys the truth all the time. I'm not sponsored by anybody and I'm not ever going to be paid or asked to say something great about something that is not my own opinion. So I really, um, I really enjoy their glasses and I think they make a great product and they have great customer service. To boot. So uh, I wanted to show you this new pair of their sort of new collection and I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time. Let's just do a little bit of a Saved by the Bell kind of look today. I have to get a freaking fan on in here if I'm going to do anything. This is absolutely atrocious. I hate Alabama.